Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. So it seems like every day we are seeing improvements in Ryu Jinx, this Nintendo Switch emulator, and in the past few days we have seen quite a few significant changes to this emulator. At the top of all of these brand new changes is the fact that we now have a native input support, at least for X input controllers, built right into Ryu Jinx. This means that we no longer need to use external applications like joy to key in order to map our keyboard hotkeys and have correct input control in our games on this emulator. Since at the minute we only have X input support, players who use direct input controllers can use an application called a DS4 Windows or Input Mapper in order to convert their direct input signals into an X input in order to have it correctly picked up by this emulator. Also, as you can see by the gameplay we have just been watching, we have also seen significant render improvements in practically all of the games on this emulator that are currently bootable. In Cave Story, you can now see that we have correctly rendered graphics, a correctly and fully rendered UI, and when we actually come and take a look at the initial loading menu for Cave Story Plus, you can also see that all of the tiles in the in-game menus are now correctly rendered, also, when we load in game and open our inventory screen, you can see that everything here is also now correctly rendered. Another game that has seen significant render improvement is Deskaya 5. When we compare some render improvement from a Ryu Jinx build from only two days ago with the latest master build currently available at time of making this video, you can clearly see that we have seen absolutely massive render and slight performance improvements in this title. Another game that has seen absolutely massive render improvements in Ryu Jinx is Stardew Valley. When we compare its render output in the very first build of Ryu Jinx in which it booted, then once again compare it with the latest master we have as of making this video, you can see that there have been significant render and performance increases in this game title. Another massive improvement we have seen in Ryu Jinx is the fact that we now have an experimental version of this emulator that actually enables the docked mode on the Nintendo Switch itself. This docked mode completely fixes the upside down rendering issues that we were previously having in Ryu Jinx and Stardew Valley. Not only this, but it also significantly boosts our performance by up to 5 and 10 FPS in any given scene. Unfortunately, since this full screen or a docked mode is currently very unstable and actually causes issues in several other titles, it is not yet ready to be pushed to the master version of Ryu Jinx. We have also seen several new titles boot in Ryu Jinx as well as all of these previously mentioned fixes and improvements. The first of these titles is a game called Axiom Verge. This game, while it does actually suffer from the same issues as Stardew Valley, it is not fixed by running it in full screen or docked mode. While this game does boot and successfully go in game, it is not what I would consider playable due to some fairly severe render and scaling issues with the graphics. Our next bootable game is SteamWorld Dig 2. In a similar fashion to Axiom Verge, this game currently boots, loads into game, but as with Axiom Verge, it still suffers with some fairly severe rendering and scaling issues. Our final title of the day is a game called V or V6 or VVVVVV or whatever you want to call it, you can call it that. This game now boots, goes in game and runs at very good performance levels. However, there are still some weird rendering issues, you are about to see them on screen right now when any of our characters talk, some of the text box UI layers are in the background and some of them are just completely unreadable later in the game. Despite these UI rendering issues, I would still consider this game to be playable. So that's about it for this quick update video on Ryu Jinx, the Nintendo Switch emulator. For anybody asking, I will be doing some videos on Yuzu, the other Nintendo Switch emulator in the coming days, so keep your eyes on the channel for any of those videos. So once again guys, cheers for checking out the video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, leave a comment down below if you absolutely love these kind of videos, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.